interesting is it not that one of the great political questions in the united kingdom when it comes to discussion of the euro is cock up or conspiracy? is it a cock up or was it a conspiracy? and we are still arguing about that in the pubs of england we are not quite sure it must be completely obvious to anybody with even the remotest bit of economic understanding that this common currency was doomed to failure from the outset if it wasn't accompanied by fiscal policy. It must have fiscal policy to have one currency and one interest rate. It's, it, 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 it comes with the package. It must be part of the same phenomenon. Now, the conspiracy theorists say, ah, they knew that this would happen, they knew that this would collapse, they knew that this would uh, bring grief uh, to many countries, unfortunate enough and stupid enough to be part of this common currency. And what will happen is, when it collapses, when it catches fire, when it all goes wrong, they can then do, they being the conspirators, push through an undemocratic system of government on people whether they like it or not and I think this is the first part of it this is what we're looking at with this document this is what we're looking at with this document it's the first bit of an undemocratic procedure so we can cut ordinary voters members of the electorate out of the system thank you Mr Bloom now we have catch the eye Ah. This colleague would like to ask a question of Mr. Bloom. Mr. Bloom, will you accept a question from our colleague? You have the floor. Thank you, President. You said at the start of your intervention that the EMU will fail if there is no uh, fiscal policy and uh, closer. Um, incentives for cooperation. I'm sure that's the case, but shouldn't we now welcome the fact that we are creating the systems to coordinate um, economic policy and, and we're going, lo looking for more uh, common European approaches. Couldn't you just honestly say that we're now we're on the right route? As regards um, a lack of democracy, we shouldn't um, set uh, national parliaments and the European Parliament against each other. We need both bodies uh, to create democracy. Thank you. Mr. Bloom. Uh, well, yes, you see, it depends on your perspective, really, doesn't it? Um, I would argue that there is no remit for a common fiscal po policy. It hasn't been put to the people, either in a referendum uh, or any political way that I can see, certainly not in the United Kingdom. As you know, in the United Kingdom, we have been promised but denied, in reality, a referendum now uh, for many years. So I can only speak for the United Kingdom, and I would argue that there is no democratic remit for this, and therefore you cannot push it through uh, a common fiscal policy. If you ask the people on the streets of Rome or Madrid uh, or Lisbon or Athens, I think you'll get your answer. Yes. Senor Bloom. Thank you very much, Mr. Bloom. Catch the eye part of the.